Okay, quick premiere trick tip tutorial for you. I haven't seen anybody else who does this, but it's super useful and it's pretty easy to do. So when I edit with Premiere, I really, really, really like to use Ripple Trim previous edit to playhead and Ripple Trim next edit to playhead. Uh, if you don't know what those are, go and look them up in the keyboard shortcuts menu. They're super duper useful. And then I also pair that with uh, add edit to all tracks, which is basically a shift blade tool all the way down through all the tracks. But a super duper useful keyboard shortcut that is not in here is ripple delete clip at playhead. This keyboard shortcut does not exist in Premiere. Fortunately, we do have the ability to assign a keyboard shortcut to select clip at playhead, and we can also assign a keyboard shortcut to ripple delete. So it's very easy in auto hotkey to just combine these two things together into one powerful shortcut, and then you can ripple delete clip at playhead, obviously. And if you don't know what auto hotkey is, too bad. I'm not going to explain it. So here's the code, and here's a quick explanation. What you have to do is you have to go into Premiere and figure out whatever key you want to assign to select clip at playhead, okay? In my case, I've assigned that to U because, I don't know, uh, just because it was basically one of the only keys left on the keyboard. So that's U for me. And also, you need a keyboard shortcut for ripple delete. Now, by default, I believe that this is shift backspace, or maybe it's just regular backspace. But whatever it is, I suggest that you give it some really obscure, stupid, difficult shortcut. And in my case, I've gone with Control alt shift d simply because there's no possible way that you would accidentally hit that by just doing regular keyboard stuff. Also, the problem with using just regular backspace or just regular shift delete is that that's a kind of a destructive keystroke, you know? If you accidentally end up hitting F1 somewhere where you're not supposed to in some other context, you might accidentally delete something and not even know it. So, control alt shift D in all other programs and in all other contexts does nothing. So it's very useful to just take that and assign that to be ripple delete. And Fortunately, and I, I love this feature more than any of the others, you can assign multiple keyboard shortcuts to the same item in Premiere now. You, this feature did not used to exist, it does now, and it's glorious. So, all you gotta do is assign select clip of playhead to something, in my case U, and then assign ripple delete to something weird like control alt shift D, and in auto hotkey, here's what the code looks like for that. And you may be thinking, oh, wait a minute, that, that code looks kind of weird. What's up with that? Well, auto hotkey has a kind of a weird syntax. So just look here. I've made uh, I, I've given myself a little bit of an explanation further up in the document. By the way, when you start a line with a semicolon, it's just a comment, so it doesn't actually use that line. It's just there for you to read. It doesn't actually do anything. Anyway, you can see here that I've given myself little comments. So... Uh, so the Octothorpe is Windows, uh, the little up arrowy thingy is Control, an exclamation mark is Alt, and a plus sign is Shift. So uh, <laughs> I, and I can go, you can go to this address to see the list of the other hot keys or the other weird keys. So basically what this code means is that when you press F1, it will send the letter U, and then it'll send Control, Alt, Shift, D. And then that's it. And then, ta-da! You've got your thing. You've got your ripple delete clip at playhead. Yay! So, why did I assign it to F1? Well, I would like to assign it to the letter R. But I can't do that because that has to happen inside Premiere. Because if I do that, then every single time that I'm typing anywhere, I'm going to be constantly doing this fancy macro thing that's always going to be running. Okay, it's going to ruin my R button. I have to have an R key. So, I put it on F1. And if I actually knew a bit more about AutoHotKey, I would be able to make this only happen inside of Premiere, but I actually don't know how to do that. So this applies to the entire computer. So if somebody knows how to make this happen only in Premiere, please let me know, because that'd be nice. Because now I can't use F1 for anything else, but that's okay, because this is just an editing computer. Well, there you go. Enjoy your new uh, shortcut. Uh, more tutorials coming eventually, whatever. I'm busy.